Hey, Salvador Brigman here. Welcome back to the Crowdfunding Demystified YouTube channel. And today we are talking about how to sell online using Shopify, how to set up your own online store using Shopify and how you can get started pretty quickly. I'd say it honestly a matter of 30 minutes to an hour if we want to cut it down to that. Uh, if you're spending a little bit more time on the design, these things might take a little bit longer, but really you can get started selling very quickly using Shopify. And that today I want to share with you a tutorial, a step-by-step -step tutorial in terms of how to get started. One of the cool things about Shopify is not only can you sell things online, but you can also do a point of sale. Um, so if you have a retail location or if you're at a flea market or something like that, you can actually integrate those point of sale locations with your Shopify store. You can also install a buy button, uh, buy button on your website. There are a lot of great ways in which you can use Shopify. And of course, you also have the self-hosted um, online store where customers can go to your website. You don't have to have a Squarespace. You don't have to have a WordPress or anything like that. And they can just go and easily make an order and everything is pretty much done seamlessly for you. So I'm going to share with you some of the functionality here and some of the cool stuff that you can do with Shopify. The other thing I like about Shopify is that if you're interested, you can always start a free trial. It's a 14 day free trial. You don't need a credit card or anything like that. You just need your email address, your password and your store name, and you can get started easily. And you can see how the software actually looks. And if you're interested, I'll include a link down below so you can check that out. So we're going to sort of use this store that I set up for my other YouTube channel. I have another YouTube channel called Life of Freedom, which is all about about living your best life, um, creating more freedom in your life with online business, and also how do you have freedom in your life when it comes to you know your freedom of time and being able to do what you want with your life. So I'm starting to experiment with um, putting together merchandise, and I wanted to share with you kind of the dashboard of this, sh this store. So first of all, um, you can add products pretty easily to the store. You can customize the theme. You can also add on a domain. So if you own, have your own custom domain name, you can actually assign that to your Shopify store, and that way when people go to www whatever it is, .com, um, they can go and they can actually see uh, your store displayed there. Going to the themes here, let's take a second to explore this functionality a little bit. Right now, the theme that I'm operating on, if we come here, um, this is the Life of Freedom store. I have one slider here, no regrets, seize the day. Got another one here, live life on your own terms. We have a little bit of uh, information here. Make your mission your mantra. Um, join a tribe of like-minded hustlers. You also then have my featured collection. This is one of the hats that I made recently. And also got some other stuff like tank tops, uh, women's crop top, etc. If you want to, you could click browse collection. You can get a sense of some of the uh, the catalog here basically on this store. Now, this all pretty much came baked in easily with Shopify. I didn't have to do anything in terms of the layout and all this stuff. I just chose one from the themes. And you can see the tank top here. You can see a woman's hat, a guy's hat, um, athletic shorts. I really like this hat, actually. This is pretty cool. It's, this is sort of like more of a dad hat, I would say. But it's like a, a really sweet looking one. I really like the colors for this one. You also have women's crop tops and women's hat. Uh, uh, you can see there her, her uh, tank top there. So we're coming here to the themes. This is the theme that I have that is live and you can do stuff like you can customize it or you can explore some of the free themes that are out there on the actual Shopify store or the website, I would say the platform. So you can go into the simple themes, you got a pop theme, boundless, all of these different things, depending on the type of uh, product that you're selling, you might decide to go with one theme over the other. So if we were to look at this, this is basically built for large catalogs, collection of filtering and sidebar slideshow. You can have a light one, or you can have a blue one. There's a lot of customization opportunity here if you're interested in looking into some different themes. We were looking at, let's just say this boundless theme. This is gonna be optimized for larger images. You can have it be vibrant if we wanted to. A slick navigation, single product category. And you can easily, if you want to, you can add this theme library and it will add it to your Shopify account. Now, I'm not going to enable that one, but if we wanted to, we could easily preview that and you could um, you know, see the actions here. We could preview it, we could publish it. Let's just preview it right here just to see what this would look like if I was to load this here. It's loading here in just a second. Okay, so we have one slider here. So we would put some kind of an image here. I imagine we talk a bit about our brand. You might have some photos here um, of the various different products that you're selling. You got your catalog, these different things. We'd be basically customizing all of this if we wanted to use this theme. We also have this other debut theme if we were to preview this one. Uh, this one I have already installed here. 
you can go and you can look and this is kind of uh, a different kind of look and feel so you'd have an image with text overlay overlay so the background would be a really high quality image high resolution image you have some text there to explain maybe a bit about your brand you have your feature collection maybe an image with some text so just looking at this this basic layout it's very easy to sort of like almost drag and drop i would say but um, you're pretty much going to upload this when you're customizing the theme i'll show you that in a second and that's how you can get get a really professional looking store very simply and very easily. All you got to do, it's like a paint by numbers thing, basically. Uh, so if I was to come here and we're going to say actions, and if we wanted to, we can customize this. We could also edit the code if we're, you know, know anything about HTML or CSS or these things, or you want to get a developer to help you out. I'm just going to show you how to customize this um, theme that I have installed on it right now. This is, I believe, the Brooklyn theme. So we have the slideshow. The slideshow are just quite simply the two images that I chose. You can set the um, time if you want. You want to rotate the slides every five seconds. You want to auto rotate. It's going to be the full screen height. You can also get into the rich text here. So the rich text is going to be here. So I have my custom text. You can have this be larger if we want it. You could have it be smaller. It's going to um, change this in real time. And maybe that's going to be a little bit more prominent for people that are coming there and, and want to see that. Um, also, you can have your collections list. So the collections list, you can add in different elements into this collection, or I could remove them quite simply. It's, let's see, I can move them around here. It's just drag and drop, and you're changing basically the the layout there. So I kind of like we'll just we'll just leave it like that. I kind of like how that's looking there. Um, we'll go back. If you wanted to, you could also add a section. So there are different types of sections. We could add blog posts if we wanted to. If we want to write articles on fashion or articles on the product that we're selling, collection list, uh, an image with text. You can add a featured product if you want to, a newsletter sign up. Newsletter sign up might be interesting if you're trying to gather email addresses leading up to the launch of a crowdfunding campaign, or you're trying to gather email addresses in general, people who maybe aren't ready to be buyers yet but they're interested in learning a little bit more about what it is that you do. If you want to, you could also embed something like a video. You know, a video could be a great way to maybe explain your brand or to show people using the product or these different things. I haven't gotten that far yet with this little um, site. This I think it's more of like a hobby, honestly, this little site that I'm setting up here. Um, but that, that's something that you could easily do. Custom HTML. You can also have a map if you have a physical store location where you are selling something. So there's a lot of stuff that you can do here. Um, you can edit the code, you can edit the languages, and you can get right into the header. We could have a logo if we wanted to, or a homepage logo. Um, these are all things you can easily do using Shopify. And also you can uh, change up the menu if you wanted to. So where this is, all these different things. There's a lot of good stuff here. I would say that's easy to edit. You can also take a look at how this would look on a mobile theme. So if you're viewing via iPhone or smartphone or something like that, versus viewing on desktop, or even just you know changing all that up, and then you have a really slick view of what this would look like to a general website visitor. Another thing that's kind of neat is you can actually see the customization for that particular theme uh, with different pages on the website. So we obviously we have the home page. You can also see what the product page would look like. So this would be for classic tank top, that's unisex, um, for my, displaying my Life of Freedom logo here, which again is my other YouTube channel, and live life on your terms. It's something that I really stand behind, that kind of a message, and something that I try to embody in my own life, wanting to live life on my own terms. Uh, we could see maybe what that looks like if they had a mobile theme. Go back here, we could say, okay, that looks good. Let's look at the collection pages. What is that going to look like? If we have a collection, so that'd be for the hat, collections list page. Okay, this is what the catalog is going to look like if they collect that. I don't have any blog posts that I've written, but this is what the, the blog would basically be if you're you know creating any news post or blog post. What does the card even look like? Um, card is currently empty. Checkout. Checkout's probably also going to be empty because I haven't added anything there. Um, but this is kind of just giving you an idea of like it, how easy it is, man, to see all of these different um, all of these different pages, you know, seeing the checkout. If someone was checking out, they could do an express uh, Google Pay. They could also just do their Visa or MasterCard or whatever it is, you know, entering their contact information, see their shipping. All this is calculated in the next steps. If you want to, you could go through this and you could see what that looks like. What does even a 404 page look like? We can customize the 404 page if we wanted to. Um, this is all really good, I think, very simple um, sort of how-to kind of stuff. So I want to talk a little bit about some of the other powerful things that you can do in the dashboard of your Shopify store. 
and ways that you can sort of enhance, I would say, um, the online store that you have. And I'll, one other just really quick thing is if you want to, you can also customize like your preferences here. I'll say that there. So like your, your home page uh, title, the meta description, Google Analytics, installing a Facebook pixel so you can advertise on Facebook. And if you weren't ready to show this people to people yet, you can enable your password. Um, you can go and you can add a domain, a domain name that's going to further brand your website um, and make it so that people can easily go and check it out. You can just tell them to go to whatever your domain is .com or you know, dot whatever it is. Uh, you can customize the, the navigation, the footer links, the pages, the themes, all this kind of stuff here. Now, what I find to be pretty powerful, number one, is going to be the analytics that come with a Shopify store. So the analytics are going to tell you things like, how many store sessions have you been seeing in the last couple of days? You can view and create reports on that. It's gonna talk about the total sales that you have. I just literally set this up. Um, I think it was last weekend. So this is pretty, pretty new store. I haven't promoted it at all. So I don't have any kind of sales or anything like that. But you can also get breakdown by where's the sales from the social source or online store sessions by traffic source, um, sales by traffic source. So where are the sales actually coming from depending on, are they coming from a news article? Are they coming from Facebook? Are they coming from Instagram, et cetera? And even some of the top pages that people are coming to your website from. So this is all very valuable data because this is what allows us to make smart marketing decisions going forward. If we see, for example, that a lot of sales are coming from one particular website that wrote about us, it might pay for us to then try to get into another one of their articles or to even to advertise on their website. If we see a lot of our traffic sales are coming from Facebook, we're probably gonna be doing more promotion on Facebook. Um, it's really simple. You do more of what is working and you hone in on the things that are working. And if you want to, you can also even have a live view. How many websites are viewing your visitors, uh, viewing your, how many website visitors are viewing your website right now and from what locations are they viewing it? How many are checking out? How many are purchasing? This is all real time behavior and quite powerful that you get all these analytics and data. You can generate reports. These can help you when you're analyzing your sales, your revenue, um, your profitable profitability of your online store over the course of three months or six months or anything like that. This can tell you about taxes, returns, um, payments. This is this is all baked in with Shopify. Um, you might have to upgrade if you want like more intense reports and stuff like that, but you'll get some basic analytics here when, it, when you have a Shopify store. Um, other things you can see information on your customer data. So where are these people coming from? Um, what are their, their email address? Like all these different things, new versus returning, who is abandoning their cart? And maybe you can send them an email and say, hey, notice you were trying to purchase something. Um, by the way, thank you, here's uh, an X percent off, or do you have any questions about this so I can help you complete your order? There are a lot of ways that you can automate all of this using powerful um, customization software like Shopify, and also easily add in your different products. So these are the products that I'm currently listing in this store. These are all print on demand products that I'm using actually another app that I'll tell you about in a second. Um, so you can see your products, you can see your inventory. If you have gift cards that you'd like to make available, you can sell gift cards to your customers. I'd have to upgrade my particular plan here to the advanced Shopify plan if I wanted to do that. You can see your collections. Um, all this stuff is very easily accessible and also some of the orders that are coming in and any kind of uh, abandoned checkouts, people that again have abandoned their checkout. So I want to talk a little bit um, first about like the marketing and then I want to get into some of the apps that we can use on a Shopify website. So first of all with the marketing, um, I think that it's important to always be aware of where traffic is coming from and also where traffic is coming from that is profitable. There's a difference between traffic in general and profitable traffic. So you can get, you know, uh, let's say 5,000 visitors coming from Reddit, but if Reddit does not convert into sales, it's not really profitable traffic versus if you get, let's just say 500 visitors from Facebook, uh, a Facebook ad or just your Facebook marketing in general, and that you know you see conversions into sales, you're gonna spend more time obviously on Facebook than on trying to chase Redditors in order to be interested in your products and your offering. So I recommend um, having a multi-tiered marketing strategy. I have a lot of videos out there on my YouTube channel that talk about marketing, but other stuff you can do or even offering discount codes. Right now I have a discount code called SUMMER, which gives you 20% off your entire order. 
Um, and this is obviously dur during the summer. Um, but if you came on here and you were uh, my, going to my my store and you were interested in um, any of these products or anything like that, you can come here and you can put in this discount code and you'd end up getting 20% off of any of these products. So if you like the hat or you like um, the tank top or the design of any of these things that I put together, um, you could get a percentage off. Personally, I'm, I'm actually kind of liking, like I said, that one hat that I mentioned earlier, um, this Life of Freedom hat. I think it's just a really cool looking fabric and a really cool looking grayish kind of look. But I also have one of these hats that I wear sometimes in my YouTube videos. Um, so that's, a, that's also one that I really like that snapback hat. The other thing I want to say here is with your apps. So let's talk a bit about apps. The reason why Shopify, I think is kind of like a level up of many of the other platforms out there is that they have a thriving app store. Their app store allows you to accomplish a lot of things much more simply than if you're trying to create this functionality yourself, or if you're trying to get a designer or a coder to do this. So things, uh, for example, like smart labels or returns, you know, you can even connect with fulfillment providers using a Shopify app. Um, you can even have email marketing, like all these different things you can have. You can have a Shopify chat or Apple business chat. Uh, these are all basically things you can install on your Shopify store and make it dead simple to be able to implement this kind of functionality. You can have a sales pop-up notification to so get higher conversions when people see that people recently have bought a product um, from your store. In addition to having product and site reviews with photos and video and Q&A, um, other reviews if you're, you're selling on AliExpress, for example, you can import those. There's a lot of different, a lot of great stuff, um, including like plugins for SEO, easy ship, uh, all this kind of stuff, you know, you can, you can basically go here onto the app store and you can see the ones that are going to be relevant for your business. If you have a specific thing you're trying to do, like you're trying to grow your business, you're trying to have better sales. You can also browse by these different collections. So maybe you want to have something like a gift card loyalty program, or you want to protect against abandoned, uh, carts and these different things. So an exit intense pop-up, this is, this kind of like, I would say, um, if you were to try to do this yourself, it would end up costing you thousands and thousands of dollars in order to get a website developer to make custom make these things for you. But you can get this all done by just very quickly installing an app. And sometimes these apps are free, sometimes they're paid. Um, but more often than not, it's always going to be way cheaper than if you're trying to do this yourself self, and like adding a countdown timer um, to add in some urgencies and nudge customers to take action now rather than waiting around to try and, and do these different things. So you can take some time you just go and explore um, some of these different apps that can even help you with stuff like accounting and taxes, which I know is one of my least favorite things ever. If you already have QuickBooks, it can help um, install and, and sort of sync up with your Shopify store. So I invite you to take some time and just to browse through the Shopify app store. One of the ones that I am using currently is Printful. So these guys actually handle the print on demand of uh, the the uh, swag basically that I put together and um, the different merch that I want to start selling on my side YouTube channel. And these guys can also help me with the fulfillment of that. So I've done some research and they're a pretty good, pretty good company out there. I took some time into creating designs that I like. And um, so that I can just literally install their app and it will sync up my Shopify store with their services. So that way, when someone goes on here and decide, oh yeah, man, this looks awesome. I want to buy this hat. Um, this looks pretty dope. I'm going to support your channel, but also like I really resonate with the mission of living a life of freedom. Um, you can then add that to your cart and you can buy it now. And when you check out and it's going to then send the order to Printful and Printful will then fulfill the order, do all the printing um, and all of the kind of like brand stuff, if you will, when it comes to that hat. And then it's going to send out to the individual. And um, for me, from the back end standpoint, the, the cool thing about that is it's a lot more seamless than if I was to try and hold inventory myself. But in addition, I can focus on doing the stuff that I like doing, which is creating cool designs um, or getting cool new ideas related to the merch or selling the merch and featuring it in videos and all this kind of stuff. And you can do the same thing with your own products rather than trying to be 
a website developer and trying to figure out how to do something like this yourself and set up this whole thing, doing a custom website or even using something like WordPress, um, you can just have it all done for you, honestly, with Shopify. And you can focus on the stuff that you are good at, which is maybe design, which is maybe engineering or sales or marketing or whatever you like doing. And um, you can have all the technical stuff just handled by Shopify. So if that sounds interesting to you, you like this tutorial video, go and check out the link down below. I got a link to Shopify that you specifically can, can check out. Um, when you go through there, you can also do, if you want to, a 14-day trial. Again, you don't need a credit card or anything like that to get started. I recommend setting aside, this is like a, a thing, you, you gotta set aside two weeks to work on your store and to actually begin to um, add some catalogs, add some products and begin to customize the theme. Set aside two weeks and just say, you know what? I've been working on this thing for a while now. Like um, I've been thinking about maybe setting up an online store or setting up my own business. I'm gonna give myself these two weeks as a crash course and I'm gonna focus on it and I'm gonna have a to-do list. I'm gonna take out my yellow notepad or whatever. I'm gonna write down all the to-do stuff that I wanna do. I'm gonna bang it out over the next two weeks. I'm gonna dedicate at least 10 hours per week, if not more, to doing these different things. And I'm gonna really give it, give it a real shot, you know? Um, I spent all this time thinking about these ideas and it, it deserves, I think, execution. If you've been wondering about maybe setting up a business for the last six months or the last year and you just you haven't really have the know-how when it comes to it technically or you don't know how to get started, um, as I've shown you with today's tutorial, it's very easy, very simple to do. All you got to do is invest that time and you got to, you know, you got to sit down in the in the chair and um, basically just hash this out, write down all of the to do items, say when you're going to get it done and spend the next two weeks in this 14 day free trial window to, to really give it a real shot, I would say. So if that sounds interesting to you, again, link down below. But finally, um, if you liked this video, this tutorial, my way of explaining things, please take a second to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up on this video and leave a comment if you got any questions. My name is Salvador Brigman and I will see you next time time.